What's up guys, welcome to your 151st Android tutorial for the new Boston where we're still going to work with this getting the last tweet of a specific username uh, method. And it's going to be pretty similar to what we did with, you know, before when we were working, working with the HTTP client and get and response, uh, all that stuff. So we're just going to kind of go quickly but I'll still try and explain some new stuff just to further you guys' uh, learning here. And so what we need to do again is set up HTTP P response I'm gonna set this equal to response or R or something like that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say our client that we set up within our uh, you know our our uh, on create method we're gonna to refer to that client and then again we use the method execute and what we're gonna pass in here is basically this git uh, this git method so we're just gonna say git and add our imports now what we want to do is we want to check if it cleared so we're going to set up an int called status uh, returned or status is fine and we're going to set this equal to our response which is our dot get status line dot get status code and that's going to return a number for us um, obviously since it's an int but let's just ch take a look at it I pulled this up uh, it's the Java doc and uh, for this get status code that we just use if it returns like 200 that means it's a success 100 is just informational 300 is redirect 400 error and 500 uh, service error so what we want is actually the 200 if it's successful um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an if statement if our status is equal to 200 then we're gonna set up a HTTP entity called e and we're gonna call this our r dot get entity again nothing too new there we're also gonna set up a string and we're gonna call this data we're gonna set this equal to entity utilities uh, dot to string and we're gonna pass in our entity which we call the e and that's just basically going to create some data returning you know the string of our entity we need to set up a JSON array and a JSON object that we're going to return so again we're just going to say JSON array and we're going to call this timeline and we're going to set this equal to a new JSON array passing in our data and that's going to create a JSON array for us. And then what we need to do is we need to, or then what we need to do is set up a JSON object. So we're going to say JSON object, and we're going to call this last for referring to the last tweet because uh, basically now what we're going to do is refer to our timeline that we just set up, which is our array, and that's going to return a, a lot of different objects, uh, JSON objects and we have different indexes and basically the first or the zero index is going to be the most recent tweet like the next one is going to be second to most recent etc and since this method is called last tweet we're going to say zero here and that's going to return uh, a JSON object from our array that we set up again according to all this stuff that we set up here as well and we want position zero because it's going to be the most recent uh, we could also say, you know, the fifth most fifth most recent tweet, or I'm sorry, that'd be the sixth, but that'd be fifth, uh, etc. But we want the most recent tweet, which is zero. Then all we're going to do is return again our JSON object, so we're going to return last. So there we go. We also need to return if you know this status is not equal to 200 if we got some sort of an error so we're gonna say else return null and we can also set up like a toast or something toast dot uh, make text referring to our HTT example class dot mint or dot this error some sort duration toast dot set length to be short and then we know we have some sort of an error or we're hitting this else statement here so there we go we're returning again a JSON object 
And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to finish up this little application. And probably after that, I'll show you guys a little bit more information of everything that we did. So I'll catch you guys then, and I hope you have a good one. Peace.